Hello boys and girls, Dr. O Vapes here, and I'm here to do a, my first review. So this review is going to be on a juice I actually just got in the mail about 20 minutes ago. It's Banana Pudding by, I believe this is by The Plume Room. Let's see if I can get you guys a good look at that real quick. Uh, six milligram uh, nicotine level. Comes in this nice little box. Decent sized box actually. Comes with these giant little styrofoam pellets and a definition on the word vape which just simply states one who vapes. I love that. That's kind of comical. I actually like that a little bit. So on the little uh on the little sticker tag, whatever the hell you want to call it, it says, you've got vape mail. I kind of like that, too. It's kind of, I don't know, funny. Now, all that was included in this, and this may be for all orders. Actually, there's something inside the label here. I don't know what it is. But uh, a couple things come with it. First thing that comes with it is, of course, a little note with a little uh, written, with a little written, uh, message for you by I'm going to assume the person that either made the juice or the person that shipped your juice to you specifically now also what comes with it a little plume room card with once again the uh, definition of vape on there one who vapes of course and has your order on it it also comes with this snaggy little plastic wristband I also like that. That's actually kind of cool. And I have a little bottle. I'm not really positive how big this is. This might be... Damn, what is this? This actual scratch that I know exactly what this is. This is a uh, 6 mil. So, I got banana pudding and blackberry cream soda, I believe. Excuse me, black cherry cream soda. Blackberry cream soda just sounds disgusting. Now, I'm also going to be doing a review on this Black Cherry Cream Soda. And I'm uh, going to pop it in my little mechanical mount here. This is a Stingray clone. I got it from my local vapor shop. So, as you can see, dual coil. Uh, sub ohm vaping at the moment. I believe this is at 0.5 something. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a long time since I actually got this made. So, I'm going to throw a few drips in here. And we're going to see how it vapes, actually. Throw the top back on there. And screw the locking ring. Okay, that took forever. And we're going to see how she vapes. It has an interesting flavor to it. I mean, keep in mind, I'm not usually one for steeping or air holing as some may call it or actually excuse me steeping and air holing are two different things but uh, it may need to steep a little bit because the taste is a little dry now you have to remember that plume room it comes from I believe somewhere in Minnesota but has a nice taste to it I like it Get out of here. Shoo. Whatever. Let's see if I can get the vapor out of here real quick. Now, the flavor is very nice. Even if it, even if it does need a little steeping, it still has a very nice flavor. A very beautiful flavor to it. Now, it doesn't taste so much like banana pudding as it does... The banana pudding is a Excuse me. The cream flavor is a little overbearing in it. I will notice that. Now, I can't remember what the PGVG I got for this was. I want to say... It was 50-50. Excuse me, actually, I was wrong. Dead wrong. God damn. Shoot me. All right. Anyway, the, uh, it is 60-40, PGVG, of course. Go in alphabetical order if you're trying to figure that out. But it has a really nice flavor to it. I love it. The cream flavor, like I said, overbearing in comparison to the banana flavor. But if you want more banana flavor, I recommend with a bottle this big, because this is 30 mils right here. 
I recommend skipping this for something this big. Probably two or three days. Probably a week max. Trying to get that flavor out. All right, now that's finally starting to die. Gonna give this black cherry cream soda a nice little taste. It doesn't have a very prominent smell to it. I've noticed that actually. But you can really smell the cherry in it. So gonna, once again, drip this up real quick. My fingers are too big for small bottles like that. But whatever. If I like it, I'll just order a bigger bottle. Damn. Well, this is a very interesting flavor, actually. Very interesting flavor. I actually like this flavor very much. This is... A very interesting flavor, actually. Now, it's hard to explain, really, because the flavor, this may or may not need to be steeped. I'm going to be honest with you. I get this on two days shipping. Now, if I probably go with uh, regular shipping, shit. Probably would have been steeped a little more to my liking, but this is, this is pretty good. The cream, the black cherry and the cream, I mean, the yeah, did I say blackberry or black cherry? Who cares? Either way, the it's very tasty. Let me put it that way. I'm having a hard time gathering the words here to to explain what the flavor is on this. Let me give it one more hit. It tastes exactly like a black cherry cream soda. It tastes exactly like it. I'm sorry, the window's open. If you can hear the lawnmower outside, that's my neighbor's getting some work done. But, uh, a very nice flavor to it. I love it. It's an odd flavor of sorts, but it tastes exactly like a black cherry cream soda. Not so much cream as a black cherry soda. Like, uh, does Fanta make black cherry cream soda? So who am I thinking of? I think I might be thinking of Shasta. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't had a Shasta soda in ages. Now... This is a very distinct flavor. It's it's not too overbearing on either side, the black cherry or the cream. I mean, the cream, you can't really taste it, but the black cherry part, it tastes exactly like a soda, and I love it. So, once again, these two are from Plume Room. This has been Dr. O Vapes. Top almost came off. I don't care. Have a good day, and remember, boys and girls, to vape on.